get healthy, lose weight, save money, or get organized, do you struggle to keep your New Year's resolutions? Mindset fitness coach Sandy Joy Weston is sharing her secrets for staying motivated and how to reach any goal. And it only takes three minutes a day. We're going to get to that in just a moment. So Sandy, welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. So let's start with this. Why do so many people uh, not keep their New Year's resolutions? What happens? Well, sometimes, Stella, you know, we, we reach for the stars. We want everything and we love instant gratification. So we go from, hey, I haven't worked out in years, cow potato, to, hey, I'm gonna work out an hour every single day. And it's not sustainable. And the biggest thing is you don't even believe it's possible. So if you don't believe it's possible, you're never ever going to achieve it. Okay, so you're saying the goals are just set too high. Uh, why even make a resolution if you're only gonna set yourself up for failure? Okay, well, first of all, it's okay to fail. You know, it's okay to shoot a little high and not get there. The most important thing is no matter what, whether it's on New Year's or just year round, you have to set up goals, but you've got to do it that you have a game plan of, okay, I'm setting myself up for success. If I haven't moved at all, let's really think about it. What am I willing to do really? And even if you say, hey, I'm going to move five minutes a day, sell it five minutes a day and you write it down and then you do more, that's cool beans. It's just, you've got to have that mind body connection of really believing and seeing that it's going to happen. So I definitely, definitely, you can't just say, hey, I failed the first time. I don't care. Get that out of your head. It's a new day, it's a new year. Yeah, getting started always seems like the hardest part. Once you're there and doing it, at least for me, I'm like, okay, I'm here, I'm gonna get a good workout in, and then it feels so great when, you know, when it comes to working out. So you also say it only takes one to three minutes a day to change your life and your body in a positive way. How is that even possible? Okay, the number one thing, here it is, the secret sauce, the most important thing to reaching your goals is you have to be in the right headset. It doesn't matter your workout, it doesn't matter your food plan, it doesn't matter your coach. It's all getting in that positive, powerful mindset. So I interviewed people for years and why they succeeded. And the number one thing they did is they started their morning in a routine that put them in that positive headset. It didn't matter, Stella, if it took them one minute or an hour and it was always different. So if you take the time to write it down, to make your game plan, which can only take you one minute to three minutes and see what you're going after, then you are taking that one to three minutes. The next step, you're gonna choose things that you're more likely to stay with because you're not coming from a frustration point of view or a fear point of view. You're coming from excitement and love. And that's why I say it's one to three minutes because if you do that, if you start out, especially in the morning, most people that I interviewed that stuck with their goals or were successful in life or that exuded what I call that pure joy, Stella, they did something in the morning. It didn't matter what it was every single day. They could have baked muffins, played jazz music, meditated. So you need to do something to say, how am I going to show up in the world? How am I going to choose? And the best way to do that is by writing it down. Attitude of gratitude, you would say? <laughs> I like that attitude of gratitude. You definitely want to put what you're grateful for because it does put you in that powerful mindset. But you also don't want to just rattle it off like I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful right, for that. Right, grateful. Okay, it. that's one or day. Right. You really want to get behind the emotion and how you're feeling. So decide, for example, how do you want to show up in the world today? There's so much going on that you can't control. But one thing you can control is how you're going to feel. So I always pick one word that day, pure joy, positivity. Maybe it's just I can get to peace or calm. And that's how you put those feet on the ground and you say, this is how I'm choosing to show up the day. No matter what happens, I'm gonna come back to that word. Sandy, for our viewers watching at home right now, we're what, 11 days into the new year and let's say they, uh, they started, they failed, what is your word of words of advice right now to them who said, you know what, I did it, I failed, I'm done. 
And I understand that it's really frustrating and people get so, oh, they get so upset at themselves. And you know, the number one reason you do not succeed is you don't believe it's possible. You feel guilty, which let's get rid of that. And you feel sorry for yourself. So I'm gonna tell you right now, the best thing you can do is focus on even the little things, even if it has nothing to do with your body that you did right. Focus on those things. So yeah, 2020, I get it. But personally, what did you do that you feel good about in any area of your life? Get yourself believing that, wow, I did this and start looking at it. And then say, oh, if I can do this, then, it might just be even possible that I can achieve this with my body because you, you, you've got to use your imagination. You have to visualize it and see it and just say, Hey, it's okay. It doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter at all. And the little things really matter. Stella, you write it down. The little things really matter. Create a power statement. That's going to excite you. For me, I have on my desk, bring it on baby. And that makes me smile. And when I don't have those days and I'm not so chippy, because I'm not chippy all the time, you can ask my family, I look and I go, bring it on. Bring it on. That's right. Get a journal. Start slow. Baby steps. Sandy, thank you so much for joining us. I think many of us needed to hear that. Uh, start slow. Ease into it. And uh, you can do it. You can do it. Thank you so much for joining us, Sandy. Thanks, Tala. Bye.